So the main thing that we need to be concerned about with regional banks is there. Hey, soldiers, I want to recount to you a recent experience I had with one of the banks that is on the downgrade list, Moody's downgrade list. We just did that video the other day. And I want to recount this to you because did you look at that list? Have you watched that video to see if one of your banks are on the list? I went in there to one of these banks to ask some specific questions. And I think you're going to find that what I got was troubling to say the least. So I'm going to get right into it. So the bank in question is Fulton Bank. Now it's a regional bank, does business here in the mid-Atlantic region. It's actually um, a bank where I keep a very small amount of money. Uh, nothing to write home about whatsoever, but I did find, so it's not like I'm a major share owner or anything like that in this bank, or I'm bumping up against the FDIC limit, not in the least bit. But I did find it interesting that they were on the list because I bank with them to an extent. Uh, and they are here, you know, regional bank in the mid-Atlantic. So when they ended up on that list, I said, you know what, I'm going to give them a call. And so I did. I reached out to Fulton Bank and I was told after a few minutes, and I, I get this, the guy had to transfer me around. We're trying to find out the right people to talk to. This is not some big conglomerate. So I figured I would be able to speak with someone that knew something eventually. And that did happen. Stay tuned. We'll get to that. But the day the announcement was made, I reached out to the bank, ended up, they put me in a voicemail. I left a message. Fine. No problem. Uh, Told them I had some questions about uh, Moody's recent downgrade and would like a call back. And uh, just dropped the message in there and waited. Didn't hear anything. So that was a Tuesday. On Friday, I visited one of the branches of Fulton Bank. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I walked in and I introduced myself to the teller. I said, hello, I have a small account here and I would like to talk to uh, maybe one of your representatives in one of the offices about Moody's downgrade. So the lady said, okay, you know, you, you want to talk to someone. All right, fine. You don't want to withdraw money. You don't want to deposit it. You need them. So they called someone out. They came out immediately. Two women, uh, they, seen, they were, you know, bank vice presidents, I guess, you know, vice presidents at a bank or a dime a dozen. That's the title they usually give them. And they had been, I noticed them in the corner, they were talking amongst themselves. There was no one in the bank, so they were talking amongst themselves. And I went over, because the lady said, uh, sir, I can help you. And so I went over and I said, uh, yes, good afternoon. Uh, I'm Tyrone Keys. I have a small account here, and I'd like to get some information as to whether or not your CEO has made a statement about Moody's recent downgrade of your bank. First young lady said, downgrade? Now this had happened days prior. Okay. We're like 72 hours later. I said, yes, ma'am. Uh, maybe she was on vacation. Who knows? I said, yes, ma'am. Uh, Moody's the rating agency. They recently downgraded the bank and, uh, you know, considering what happened earlier in the year with SVB and the other institutions that went defunct, I want some information on what's going on. I want to see if you all made a statement because your CEO did make a statement after the whole round of bank uh, closures earlier in the year. So I'm, I haven't seen anything on the website. I haven't seen anything in the financial press. That's why I'm here. So she then kind of genuflected toward the other lady who was there. And she asked her, she didn't heard anything about this. And so that lady said, downgrade by who? I said, Moody's, the rating agency. And she actually said, she said, well, are they, are they? I said, influential? <laughs> Is that the reputable? And she said, yeah, yeah. Or, I said, quite, you know, they do have some influence in the industry. You know? They've been out there a long time. They downgraded you. What? What's the deal? So she said, let me make some calls. And she did. And it took about maybe 10 minutes. She talked with somebody. Hey, Chuck, do you know about a downgrade? You know, some company called Moody's. 
This is what's going on, right? I I honestly expected them to know more about two things, their industry, but also I found it very troubling that their higher ups had not communicated this to them. This was all new to not one person, but two people, two representatives of this bank. And look, I don't want to disparage these people. I'm not going to mention location or names or anything like that. They were professional, all right, um, very polite, but they just didn't know what the hell was going on with their institution. Found it very troubling. So by and by, the uh, one lady gave me, she said, look, I've been on the phone. They say, call this number. So she wrote a number down. I said, thank you very much. And I left. Um, I thought about with, withdrawing my little teeny bit of money uh, from that bank, but I, I thought better of it. I said, not yet. Not yet. Let me uh, get some more information. So when I got back home, I did reach out and I had to leave another message. But within a half an hour, because this was a different voicemail greeting, someone did call me back. Someone called me back and they were very knowledgeable. And they sent me some information, but I had some pointed questions for them. And these are the questions you might want to ask to your bank. Question was, question one was, how much exposure do you all have to commercial real estate? Because regional banks usually have a lot of exposure to commercial real estate. And we've done videos on the fact that here in Baltimore, We've seen two Class A office buildings sell for an average of 65% less than they did just a few years ago. Now, if you're holding a note on that, if you're one of these regional banks holding a note on that, that's got to hurt, right? So I wanted to understand what type of exposure they had to commercial real estate here in America and also in China, if any, because China is about to hit a wall with regard to their real estate sector. And so I wanted to understand their level, the banks, Fulton Bank's level of exposure. Now, they sent me a lot of data, which I'm still pouring over. Um, and I will, you know, go through it. This last person I spoke to was very um, accommodating, let's just say. Still nothing on their website that I've seen. Okay, and it shouldn't be that hard to find, right? It should be right there on the homepage, right? If you get downgraded. And one of the things she said was, um, well, Mr. Keys, this downgrade actually puts us in line with our peers. We were rated higher than them. Mm, okay, but essentially what you're telling me is, you know, we were rated higher than those bad apples. Now we're... We're with those bad apples, which eh, doesn't, well, let's just say it isn't confidence inspiring. So the main thing that we need to be concerned about with regional banks is their exposure right now to commercial real estate, because what's going to happen with these cities who are seeing, you know, this tremendous devaluation of commercial real estate, the owners that are not selling, they're going in and their, their comps are coming down. Okay. Now you don't have to be selling your building, but if the building next door just sold for 69% less than it did a few years ago, which is exactly what happened with one South street in Baltimore city. If that happens and you're sitting at three South street, even though you're not trying to sell, your value is affected if, if it's a comparable building. Then the other shoe to drop is 3 South Street. Okay, I'm not selling, but I'll be damned if I'm paying a tax assessment commensurate with what this building was valued at a few years ago, if the value is now 69% less. So they are approaching municipalities and states and saying, hey, you need to reassess our tax value. Because it's obviously people aren't willing to pay that. Why is this happening? It's the work from home trend primarily. Uh, and uh, ancillary to that, it's a um, outcropping of the uh, crime in these cities. The combination of the two, 
has got commercial real estate in, you know, a weird place right now. So that's the main thing you need to ask these banks, these regional banks, and maybe even some of the larger ones, U.S. Bank, Bank of Mellon, New York. What's your exposure to commercial real estate? And if they don't even know, you know, at the bank manager level that the bank has been downgraded, uh, this is a problem. And here's why. Because if you don't know, yeah, you can go off the bank's lending standards, but something might fall through the cracks and you at the bank manager level, at the underwriting level, may be still in a position to authorize something that is not necessarily sound for that bank. It's possible. So, okay, guys, I just wanted to uh, hip you to that. We did a live stream on it the other day, but the live stream, the technology didn't work out. And I did not want us to be in a position where you miss that information. Okay. So um, we had to do it again. Okay, guys, I want you to watch this video about the real estate storm. It goes into more detail on our collapsing commercial real estate sector. So you can understand further. Watch this video, find out more. Guys, I'll talk to you soon.